you. Good morning, everybody. My name is Hubert Desprez from ADEM. ADEM is a French uh, um, environmental protection and energy conservation agency. And among other topics now, I'm dealing and I'm in charge of uh, the French uh, registry of EPCs. Um, in French, it's called DPE, which stands for Diagnostic de Performance Energétique, which would be uh, Energy uh, Performance Diagnostic uh, acronym. And um, as you can see, it is uh, accessible uh, through the internet at the address at, on top of this slide. Um, it has been uh, decided in, in 2011. Um, the features have been precised in 2012, and it was open only in June 2013. Um, it is uh, almost a standalone application. It has only an external link with a database of EPC auditors, and, and it's this is an independent uh, registry. As I said before, it's operated by ADEM, and uh, it is um, fed by uh, direct uh, linkage with the calculation softwares, which are used by the different auditors. At present time, there is no particular check on data when uh, received. Um, the access to data is limited to, of course, the administrators, that is ADEM, the various certification bodies, because during their control obligations regarding uh, the auditors, they may need to inspect any uh, EPC that has been sent. And there is a special access for local authorities. Uh, they can uh, download um, extracts from the database for their um, own um, um, uh, area. And of course, there is a full public access to online statistics that you can, you can uh, see directly on the uh, internet site that I've mentioned before. Just, uh, but I'm afraid this must be very small on your screen, as it is already on mine. Uh, just to give you an idea of what can be downloaded, of course, it is a CSV file. And with two, two sets of information, you see in this table, on the, on the left-hand side, you have a number of fields that are compulsory, CPU number, uh, reference of the community, date of DP, etc., etc., and of course the energy consumption, the energy class, etc. And on the left, on the right hand side, you have uh, fields that uh, are optional, and um, the demander can select and can be uh, energy conservation options that have, have been proposed for each DPE. Can be the method used for calculation or establishing the DPE and the energy consumption in, in the various energy carriers, the electricity production on site, and altogether the amount of renewables that are used. Just coming uh, more into detail into what is collected, um, all input data for EPC uh, creation are recorded, but of course it depends on calculation method because in France we use uh, a mixture between uh, asset and operational um, EPC, which is not always uh, very easy to understand, both for users and for uh, uh, contributors. Um, we also record a qualitative description of building, but we tend to avoid any uh, other document as picture, sketch, or whatever. Uh, we, of course, also uh, collect the results of the various calculations in terms of uh, energy index, class, etc. The list of uh, proposed energy conservation options. And on top of it, we also re re receive and, and store the hard copy 
of the EPC document, which, and I've indicated with a, a red uh, mark or an exclamation mark as a uh, so-called problem or point of vigilance, of vigilance because this means storing uh, hundreds, in, in our case millions, of documents which are uh, rather heavy, one to five megabytes each, and I'll come to that later. So to date, since beginning of the opening of the database, we have collected a uh, little more than three million, 300,000 uh, EPCs, and the rate of increase is 25,000 per week. Um, this is uh, stored in a SQL database, and it represents 40 gigabytes of data already. And of course, I, I don't include the PDF documents we are stored in a different way. Um, how do we update data? Well, two situations. Either there is an error in, a, in an EPC, uh, and in that case, the former EPC must be suppressed and, and, and replaced, or replaced, sorry, by a, a new one, and we, we need to have a unique identification number for um, uh, each EPC, uh, and this this can be a problem because if the um, auditor doesn't make the effort to suppress the former EPC, we we may have many duplicates at the same time, or um, nearly duplicate because of course something has been slightly changed in the EPC that is sent and it may be anything from the name of the owner to uh, some precision in the address or something in the calculation of course this, this, can, this can be a problem uh, second situation if renovation um, um, work has been conducted of course a new EPC is issued that doesn't happen very often. We are in the same situation as our Swedish colleagues. Uh, an EPC is valid 10 years, and so it's not very frequent that people reissue uh, an EPC unless they really make a huge transformation in their um, house or apartment or building. Compliance with CPBD. Um, the first thing I must um, um, precise is HADEM as operator of this uh, database hasn't been assigned with any role in the quality control. Uh, this is the sole responsibility of the certification bodies. There are about 13 certification bodies which are managing about uh, seven to eight thousand auditors. The, the database is an opportunity to ease this control because they can access any time any EPC of any of their uh, auditors. So whenever there is um, uh, a difficulty appearing, they can very quickly make a check access to all the data and eventually have another EPC reconducted to, to, to control. Um, and of course, all auditors can also uh, retrieve lists of the, the works they've done because they have an obligation to provide this list um, each year to their certification bodies. Um, but on another hand, HADEM is supposed to provide uh, studies uh, down on the data, on the collected data. And for this reason, we consider we are empowered to require a minimum quality of uh, collected data. And for this reason, we are now uh, implementing a control system on uh, entering data. 
this will be um, running um, end of this year, I, I expect. And but you understand has um, the information is sent by uh, different uh, software. You we need to have the link with each of these software implemented before uh, uh, introducing any specific evolution of that kind in our uh, system. And so I have said before, we have no role in this uh, controlling process, which is run independently by, by these uh, certification bodies. We have the ability to suspend or suppress uh, certification or habilitation, depending on results. And we don't have this uh, possible power. But on, on the other hand, as I've mentioned before, we feel we have a need to ensure a minimum quality of data. And this is why we have implemented the first quality control, um, because we have, we have um, checked that um, local community reference codes were often uh, mis uh, indicated, and in order to ensure a proper extraction for local communities, we have implemented a rather sophisticated uh, system of, of correction for these special codes. A uh, second step, we are now conducting a statistical analysis of data, because before uh, producing um, results through these studies, we we feel uh, it is necessary to exclude uh, any um, dubious um, information. And as I said before, we are implementing controls on incoming uh, data for the near future. We, of course, have no right to, to uh, forbid the, the production of this information, but we intend to warn the auditor on, on what seems uh, irrational or, or eventually false. Uh, I will try to conclude on what kind of successes and, and difficulties. And well, the, pr the first success was it's working uh, properly. We had a lot of um, uh, protestation when when this was made compulsory, when this collection was made compulsory. The, the auditors didn't want any additional work, and they were predicting that uh, it was going to be a huge mess, etc., etc. We have succeeded in proving that it's working properly. It's no additional work. I mean, they just have to push a button on their computer and all the process, at least before we, impl we implement any control, the, all the process is totally automatic and takes around a second or so. Well, second point, it has been said before, and it, but it's the case also in our uh, country, it produces lots of data. And um, it, it's a different way to collect data from the other surveys. It's, uh, apart from the quality uh, problem I have already raised, it's, it's data collected by auditors. I mean, they are not doing perfect job, but most of them are professionals, and so they are able to really characterize uh, building components, building structure, building equipment, etc., which would not be the case in, in other surveys, which are not conducted by uh, experts in, in the field. So uh, it's a very useful um, useful uh, collection of data which 
which is already used in, in some prospective studies. And um, the fact that everything is recorded, everything is stored, and particularly the PDFs are stored, this has obliged some of the auditors, the less professional ones, I would say, to uh, globally improve their work. And we, we do think that it has, uh, well, as a whole, uh, improved the quality of EPCs. There are still difficulties. I mentioned some of these points of vigilance uh, uh, during my slides. And one we have experienced is the coordination with this uh, registry of auditors. Um, I won't go into detail. It's, it's totally un unrational. But we haven't been able to have something completely automatic. We, we do hope we will will succeed to do that in, in the coming months. Um, another problem is the storage of PDF documents. And you cannot keep these on the same server as, as the, the rest of the database, and you have to store, it, store them uh, separately. And this may pose a problem for a later access, although we normally don't need this access. It's just to have a proof in case of, uh, uh, um, say, a, any legal problem. But nevertheless, it's a financial and technical uh, burden. Um, I've mentioned it, management of duplicates. Um, we don't have, as, as mentioned in, by our Sw Swedish colleague, um, use of a unique identification of building. Um, for privacy uh, protection reasons, this was not authorized, also the property tax system has such an, a unique identification number of buildings. Uh, we have not been authorized to use it, and, and such we can only um, use address, and of course, address it's a number, a road, a street, and uh, and then uh, uh, a stair and whatever. And all these are numerous uh, potential uh, mistakes, errors, and, and poor quality of data. Well, as I've mentioned, it also, in general, the protection of privacy is a difficulty. I've heard was what Alexandra said. Of course, you can always suppress address, you can suppress names, but nevertheless, that raises difficulties when when uh, giving out um, data. And for the time being, the protection and the access of of the, this database is strictly limited by law. And last but not least, uh, data quality and. and and I suppose this is a problem for all database, and of course for this uh, EPC database, if not specifically. Uh, thank you very much. And if you have any questions later, I am at your disposal.